Austin Jays. Nikki, Nikki, down! For sure, check it out! And for this, you need complete quiet. <laughs> Hello. Jack Toots be talking. Proprietor of the pipe cabin. Now, if I only sold tobacco like I did in the old days, I'd have gone out of business years ago. All you need is patience and a good sense of balance. <laughs> but that's just my little joke. Yeah, so I've done this commercial for Levi's, right? I go in the laundry and I take all my clothes off, like, I'm in the whole lot. Publications to cover every eventuality. You see, you've got your kiddies section down here. We've got ladies' periodicals. We've got amateur enthusiasts, you see. But anyway, Adrian Noble, who's like the owner of the RSC, he must have seen my bum on telly and thought to himself, well, I mean, like, millions of other people have seen my bum and all, so if I get him in my theatre, I'll get their bums in my seats, like, you know what I mean? <laughs> Watch out! Jack Frost is back! <laughs> and then on the top shelf, you got a gents porno. Of course, you don't think to yourself, well, you know, this could be a Bronze Age boat, but anyway. Cluck, cluck! I'm a duck! It is a Bronze Age boat, and. Uh... He rang me, I said, you know, did I want to play Hamlet? And I thought, yeah, I'll have some of that. Well, I'm sure most people have read it, but uh, I, as far as I'm concerned, you know, it's uh, my Bible, so to speak. Because it was quite literally the hairiest creature I think I've ever come across in my life. Fifteen pints a night, so what? Who puts the socks on the bare shoes? John T. Palmerston rang to say that it's a good assembly super flat in Admiralty Arch. I was cock a hoop. He came rushing out in what I assumed at the time was his wife's negligee. And uh, yeah, he looked like he wanted to hit someone because he had this big ball whip in his hand, like. What a naughty little boy, little Johnny Thinner put a pussy in! He wish she called me a daft cow again, so I thumped her in the gob and told her to get a life. That running expression I picked up from Bergerac. Ooh, he's great, that John Nettles. So anyway, we rehearsed it and that, and first night come. When he made a film, let me tell you, there'd be a different girl in his dressing room every single lunchtime, every single day. He worked hard, played hard. He was a man's man. It was packed. Do you know what I mean? I mean, it was like girls, like wall to wall. I mean, it was screaming and shouting. I mean, I Oh, yes. Thanks for getting back to me, David. David, um, I'm in the middle of making my Major Smith 109, and um, I can't seem to find the uh, wings. Uh, you didn't pick them up when you were here, did you? Top shelf, gents porno. Yeah, I mean, I used to be nicking about maybe five or six motors a week. I used to be really wild, you know what I'm saying? No, I certainly would not like to buy my own strawberries, thank you very much. This is Bobby. This is Daffodil. This is what do you want for your breakfast? This is a love of boiled egg. Why don't people dress for their car? You dress for dinner, so why don't you do the same for your car? Well, she says you can have a boiled egg, but there's no tea and no coffee because there's no water. I well, still don't know how she boiled that egg. I was cock a hoop. Lucky I didn't want it poached. <laughs> well out of order, mind. You know, oh, it's kind of like mayhem, you know what I mean? Oh, yes, he had a wicked sense of humour. It's something most people don't even realise. He was Fun. Cluck, cluck! I'm a duck! See the clothes they wear these days? I don't know. I saw a girl the other day. She had a little skirt on, a little more than her face well to cover her privates. <laughs> Tell him, Mel, please. I'm sorry, I haven't got any left. And what about that one there? It's soiled. Yes, I can see that. It's wet. But I don't mind, I'll take it. I soiled it. I'd still like to buy it. Nice girl. Shame she let herself go. And during that time, I can tell you, we worked like demons. <laughs> Paradoxical, don't you? <laughs> that dog is fucking <laughs> irritating. Oh, That's oh, really. Oh, Sorry about that. Now then, where was I? Top shelf. Gents Porter. 
Yeah, I'd be down there in a flash, because even when he was as tight as Rudolf Nureyev's jockstrap, he was always a stickler for punctuality, I'll tell you that now. You're the best baby to him down. Very sweet, very touching. Now, in my book, when a man becomes idle, he becomes a nuisance. Back, back a bit more. That's it, go on. Yes, yeah, go on. Back a bit more. That's it, you got up. Oh, yes, yes, he was in regular. Uh, he used to smoke a Carling International briar with an Amarillo light and spicy. Well, of course, that was a favourite shag with all the military boys, as was the Duchess of Bayswater, but uh, for entirely different reasons, of course. All the seats, like where the girls had been sitting, like, they were wet. Yes, I have, in fact, uh, camped at every single major interchange of the motorway network in the British Isles. Uh, Where? So, so for saturated. Including uh, Northern Ireland, of course. You know what I mean? And it's... You know what it was. You know what it was. You know what it was. What an extraordinary question! It was young girls like Wee Wee, you know. I knew that! Top shelf. Gents born. So, of course, they had to unbolt them all and uh, take them down the laundry air and get them cleaned. In 30 years of marriage, it really was the most exciting experience of my life. I thought to myself, now that is dramatic irony, personified. There's no way he'll be back. Hello, Jack Tewsbury talking. That's it, folks. <laughs> <laughs> OK, cut. <laughs> That dog is fucking irritating. Oh, it's really.